I'm in another conference room at the Leica headquarters in Wetzlar, Germany, and with me today is Micah Horbitz. Did I get that right? <laughs> yes, you got You got that right. Perfect. Oh, uh, good. And um, we're going to be looking at the Leica line in the APS size uh, uh, format. And I had a brilliant discussion, obviously, uh, ahead of time. And boy, this is a really interesting line. Uh, just been working with over the last few weeks, since this is sort of that new, uh, the TL2. And, and it's a genius design because there's like no buttons, but what's really cool about it, and I'm going to let Micah talk more about this, is uh, the menu system and some of the design considerations that went into this. So I know you have a lot to say because you're, <laughs> you're just, you always do, and it's like so good. But So why don't you start filling us in a little bit on where you are with the APS these days, the history a little bit first off, mm -hmm. what came prior to this, and... Uh, so, um, Kevin, we started with what, what you're seeing here. The TL2 is the latest addition to our APS system, and we launched it in July. It's actually the second generation of the TTL. We launched the T, a very, very new camera for the Leica, um, for the Leica Camera AG in uh, April 2014, and what is a complete, fairly new um, concept in camera. Um, we try to bring touch and gesture operation into the camera and really emphasize on what's, what's gesture and what's a big, big um, display good in terms of benefit for a customer bring into a camera. And that's, that's what we did. We, we built a unibody um, with a full touch operational camera, very robust. I like this always. Uh, it's craftsmanship all over from Portugal as well as Wetzlar. And what we put inside was an APS-C sensor. So um, with the T in two, 2014, we introduced a complete new system to the Leica. It is a system that is below M in terms of price, in terms of sensor size, but has many advantages because you can build very compact, not only the camera, but especially the lenses. Right. So what we are here having currently is our six high-performance APS out of focus lenses. We have three great zooms reaching from um, 17 to 200 millimeter equivalent focal lengths to, to 35. I'm always talking in a, a right. equivalent. <laughs> yes. And we have, uh, we have a nice Summicron um, 35 equivalent, makes it very small, and two special lenses, one 1.435, which is then a 50 mil classic, yeah, classic, classic Leica lens, yeah. and also um, a macro lens, a 2.860. That's going. Uh, that's doing one-to-one -one, um, size. Um, Great for doing photos. flowers, insects, yes, and butterflies, and, and, and all that. But yeah. also a very, very nice portrait lens in terms of focal length. Yeah, it's perfect focal length so, for that um, too. So, so um, and with the TL2 actually, um, which hit the market in July, um, we have now a great camera and six, six great, six great lenses. So. Um, a person that chooses to step into the Leica world in terms of systems and is not able to maybe conquer the M yet because it's a fairly... Yeah, uh, it's a photography. Yeah, you got to know exactly. photography. Exactly, so yeah. you start with it. Then this is actually a great, great little system, great little camera to start with. It's this high, high performance. There's, there's some things that are really bold about this. Before we go to the menu system, you notice on the camera that Mike is holding here, there's no uh, lug, so it's all lug, yes. it's all flush, and there's no no hatches. No. <laughs> Just no. one one little uh, hatch on the side here for your your connectors, and otherwise batteries built in flush. But what's cool is this is like a little pop out um, socket, I guess, so you can then insert these lugs or a strap that has those things built into it. Exactly. So what we, what we always try to do is, of course, the overall thing like image quality and performance and everything has to be very, very good with every product we do. But there are the little details you sometimes get annoyed about. For example, if you have to put a strap on your camera and it's not good for people that have actually nice nails or, and then it's always turned and twisted. So we call this easy click. I, I actually do just not have one That's of right. these. But, but everyone knows is from opening the, the SIM socket for the iPhone. It's like this, a this little kind of, paper You just put it in, yeah. it comes out, and then you have straps that either have this pin 
immediately attached, or you can put the strap Radio plug on it and attach any kind of any kind of strap. You so want. there's like a wrist. Um, there's a wrist strap, and that's so good with this camera because with with the this lens or uh, the 35 like you have here, it's a, it's a great camera just to keep on your wrist, walk down the street in a you know Rome exactly. or someplace and just shoot pictures all day long. Also, there's not one label. Uh, yeah, it's one. It's the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, um, so it's very. You, you, it's it's totally of a different concept than you'll find with other cameras. Yes. First of all, um, we have what we what we so call bl blind lenses. We do not have an aperture ring on the lenses themselves. So we we control aperture and shutter speed with a dial, two dials on yep. top. But the dials are not just dedicated to these two functions. You can you can individualize and personalize it to your own special needs, and that's why it doesn't have any engravings. So um, if you want to have ISO on one of these wheels, you can put ISO on one of these wheels. If you want to have white balance on that, because we just love to change that, you're welcome to do so. So, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we do not have any engravings um, on 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 the wheels because they are soft wheels, customizable. One of the other things which I really love with this, and the second I pulled it up, I expected the typical traditional, uh, like a linear menu, but this has uh, tiles, and this is just so responsive when you touch the screen and when you decide you want to make a change, you know, how you make it. It's all just brilliant. So tell, tell me a little bit about, how, you know, where, where this whole concept of no buttons on the back, two dials on the top, and a, and a shutter release, and everything else is controlled by this brilliant touch screen. Um, so first, always important is that the most um, important valuables for photography are still on physical things. So release button, uh, aperture, shutter speed is still with physical dials, um, direct access. Um, other than that, we we made uh, or we took all the advantage of a huge screen, which is actually it very is nice. Huge. It's a brilliant screen, um, high resolution, also in bright light. You still can really see what's going on on the screen. And uh, we decided to really transfer um, operation onto, onto a camera in terms of gesture. And lists and just putting buttons there, not, not hard buttons, but kind of transfer them to, to, um, to touch didn't make sense. So we thought of having a complete new menu. So we invented this tile menu thing where you can toggle through functions. If there are only three functions, you just toggle through. You don't, you don't have to get into a sub-menu. Um, but we also um, made use of that you, for example, you have your own menu. We call this My Camera Menu. And of course, we have a default menu. So when you buy this camera, there are default things. But if you, if, if you don't want this stuff, you just put it away. If you want language in, you put it in here. You can sort it and Create oh, the camera it, to your own needs, it's which, which is very important. Once I sat down and did this and made my own yeah. on the uh, my tail two, it's just like, oh, really? I know. And it's so fast. And also, everyone asks all the time, "Where's the play button? Where's the play button?" Uh, we don't need a play button. We just um, just scroll down. We just scroll right down. Right exactly. There. When See? I do it upside down, and yeah, it works the way you want. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's just and that, also, well, yeah. I, I can try to show it here. You know, boom. Oh. Exactly like this. Oh, and then yeah. you can swipe through like you know it from yep. from your phone. Double, double tap and double tap and, and pin, pinch and pinch. So exactly. and there's a little um, navigator screen so you so, know where you are in the yeah, picture itself. Exactly. So, so it's really well thought out. Yes. Also, this is just um, a, a viewfinder on the back, so you don't have an electronic viewfinder. So that's we, what we, we do not have a built-in. Nope. Because this is a kind of concept of having a um, the design concept. Yeah. I you talked yeah. to Mark about what's, what was all behind. Nevertheless, for the people who really, really crave for, for a viewfinder, we have an optional viewfinder, high point optional view, viewfinder, which gives some, some more advantages as well. It's not only for just looking through it like this, right. but you can swivel it so you can have different yeah. perspectives. And because of the housing of the camera, it's a unibody, it's, it's full out of aluminum, it's, it's uh, hard to get GPS signal through, so an additional benefit for this um, VisaFlex, we call, is in built in a in GPS, GPS module. So that's a two and thingy it, for this. You've got a uh, video in here? Yes, so it's we can 4K, do video. 4K video. So with the TO2, we have now the 24 megapixel APS-C sensor with 4K video 
So the full bells and whistles of, of newest <laughs> sense of stuff. technology that you can put into this kind of uh, APS-C cameras. Now, uh, one of the things that's getting to be really big is, is connectivity and so forth. So you've got a method. One of the things that I like to do, specifically when I'm, you know, say, walking the streets, I like to sit down at the cafe and maybe, you know, post something to you know, Facebook or social media, or actually send something home and let the family see what I'm doing. Where, um, do, where do you play in that? I'm, I'm fully there with you, I think, and like a camera AG thinks <laughs> that, um, that our products have to be connected to what's actually important to the customer. So to stay relevant, you need to not only have great products where it makes fun to take pictures with, but the results need to be available instantly and seamlessly. Preferably. Yeah. So, because what, what you just said, you make a great, great shot and you sit in a cafe and you just want to share it with your loved ones, your friends, your colleagues, whoever. Yeah. So, um, every camera has a built-in in Wi-Fi module. We, we, have, we have apps. We're working constantly on making the connection not only better but also easier that, that the smartphone, whatever there is, recognizes, recognizes are kind of the best friends. The ultimate goal is that your smartphone and, and any kind of Leica camera are best friends. I introduced sure. once, they love each other and they uh, they recognize each other the second they're in close The TL2 has its own app both for Android and iPhone, which yes. this is done with. Yes. And it is pretty cool because you can yeah. see the image, you can change the, the, yeah. the settings and yeah. do a whole slew of different things. So, so it's really taking a new step forward that way. So you can drag all the content from the camera, but you also can also remote control the camera yeah. if you do selfies or, or Long exposure shots or well, anything. Well, so, selfies, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what else? Um, where are you going in the future with this? Um, the, b before I get to the future, I want one more thing that hardly any, anyone knows, but I really want to emphasize. I, what I call this also is a bit of a no worries camera. Wow. It has a built-in um, uh, memory. So if, if, you, if you buy this camera, you don't have to worry about SD cards and this and that. So uh, that, that, that. that's 32 that. gigabyte built-in. So um, that's why there's no card in there, I still can <laughs> take oh. pictures. One more thing we have with this camera, because it's kind of the thing of being mobile, have it, have it with you, is we can charge it via USB. And also we can charge it via port portable battery packs. Or so so um, this is the concept of, of this little camera. Um, there are little steps further that are not well known in the traditional camera industry that we try to introduce mm. in, into, into cameras. By the way, you should see this battery. This is really pretty cool. Uh, I've watched probably a bad demo here, but it pops out with the, um, the switch and it's actually designed to you know, be flush mounted with the camera when, uh, so it's part of the integral design of the yeah. camera itself. So when you put it back in, it forms a nice flush uh, mount, and it has like a se secondary release. So like if you were doing this and you decide you want to do it was on a tripod or something, it just doesn't drop out on no, the ground. No, no. It has like a safety catch and everything. So uh, well thought out there. So with the TTL, and now it's called TL2, um, we, I think, we did a bold move, as you, as you said in the introduction. It's, it's going beyond traditional cameras. Yeah. Um, but we think and we see that there's still a sweet spot for what we call iconic cameras in, yeah. in this kind of class. Cool. So um, there's one more thing I have <laughs> <laughs> hidden, behind my, <laughs> hidden behind my back. <laughs> and that's a little camera that we're going to introduce in November. Uh, and um, that's a called the Leica CL. Wow. It will carry the same lenses. And so okay. it's part of the APS system. All these uh, six lenses will fit with this camera. We will introduce uh, simultaneously with this Leica CL a new lens, a super pancake. Um, it's, equi it's equivalent uh, 27 mil and so uh, in silver and in black. And this is a new setup and the new and latest family member we will introduce in November so that within uh, less than six months we introduce two new high performance cameras. Um, Technically, inside, very much the same, but in terms of how I take pictures and what it looks or and how it looks like, they are very different. Well, it is very different in the first place. This looks like, like it's got this great museum downstairs where they have like all the cameras. This looks like a camera that was actually in there, the same design and feel with the, the hump of the viewfinder here and so forth. So also, uh, this is important, I believe, is that you've got a viewfinder on yes. this camera. So well, you don't need to put this on there. You've got the viewfinder. Uh, you've got the diopter corrector here, which 
is pretty slick in itself because it, yeah. it very actually pulls, mechanical, yeah, very very, it pulls mechanical. out. Yeah. You can adjust it, push it back in, so you're not changing it by accident. Three so, buttons again. So now you put the buttons back in. Yeah, because very, very, it's, it's a different kind of concept. Yeah. You know, people fall in love with this and just they just won't exactly do this and very, very reduced. And then there are a little bit more traditional customers that have maybe also a different history in terms of photography, are more cling to the viewfinder, they want to have this traditional way of taking pictures. And so this is, um, in terms of that and physical buttons, more tactile. So. This, this has a lot of things that photographers crave. I mean, you, you get a little more tactile, as you say, but yeah. you've got a, a little status LCD window yeah. up here, which tells you your f-stop and mode and the shutter speed, so you, you can look down on it, which, as I said yeah. with the M, is you know kind of those important things that photographers want to know where they stand. So yeah. this is kind of a notch up. This is kind of like, oh, I really don't even know what an f-stop is, versus the f-stop is important for what you I do. You still can learn with this one, but this is a bit more yeah, for people who are already in the act of photography, like like we used to call it, we're really like picking up a camera, not just because of taking a picture of the object, but where the the act of taking this picture is important and, and how that, that turns now, out. I think this is different too, where this buttons are solid, you have a button inside a dial here. Um, yes, we, we put a button in here so um, we can change the uh, function of this dial by just pressing the button once. Oh, and, then, and then it pops up on the screen in the back. Yeah. And of That's course, you, you would see it in the in the viewfinder. So this would be an ISO setting or something. Yeah. And right now, it's it's ISO, ISO, but also you can you can um, it's customizable. Yeah. There are certain certain functions you can. You and there's can a lot of data that you can you can select the different displays. So you have a histogram up top and all the shooting data. Very 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 nice. <laughs> Does this have the pull-out pins, or this is it, a regular? It does. No. It does not, okay. uh, because then, it, um, because of size. Size, okay. Size, basically. This and also on this side, then the, you would always have this uh, little bumper in the EVF. You wouldn't yeah. have that one. Kind, kind of a legacy thing. But look at this. This is a pocket camera almost. Now with the 18 millimeter pancake lens, you know, you could easily slip it into a jacket pocket yes. and uh, you know walk with it. And, and this is, of course, it fits on. Uh, on the PL as well, as I said, they share the same the same uh, lenses because it's one system. Just two very different siblings, uh, same same genes. But, uh, now, speaking so of sharing lenses, one of the things that we've been hearing all about is lens. All the lenses can sort of fit. So, if you took the SL system, you could put the SL lenses on here with an adapter, correct? The, the SL, the CL, and the TL share the same mount, the L mount. That's oh, why they all, okay. all have the L in the, in the end, at the end of their product names. So, uh, and you you can you can cross over. You can put all the TL lenses on the SL, and uh, the, of course it's a crop factor. Sure. But so one point five. Yes, exactly. And the other way around, you can use all the SL lenses on on the CL camera. But so if I was an SL user and I decided I wanted a pocket camera for something a little less cumbersome, but I find a bird way far away, and I can take that 280, and uh, what's that 280 turns into another 140 or something, get my math right, so then I'd have to add that, carry the two, but yeah, <laughs> you get a, yeah, exactly. quite a long yes. lens at that point. So essentially, you've got still a 24 megapixel file, though. Yes, exactly, so because they're both 24 megapixels. Well, you know, now, now it's a thought process of saying, oh, I'm into the Leica family, so no matter what I've got, I can go any direction I want with yeah. it. So brilliant, brilliant idea. And also on top, um, we for for the uh, for the L mount we have the M adapter L and the R adapter L so you can you put M lenses on you can put M lenses on you can put R lenses on if you have them still. I can take this retro camera turn it into a manual focus like uh, with all the automation you could do that, it. that yes. comes with everything yes, else definitely yes. <laughs> very slick so. well Micah man I'm telling you you've been busy I was yes I am actually <laughs> that's great uh, very cool cameras I'm really enjoying the TL2. Uh, I've shot with this camera and just was had a lot of fun with it. Uh, Do you? It's, I, oh, yeah. I mean, this is for me. This is it because I do want the viewfinder. I, yeah. While I like to have it, and one of the things I should point out that I really noticed is rather than have the viewfinder in the middle like so many traditional cameras are, it's right there. So actually, my nose doesn't get in the way when I put the viewfinder up, and it's like, wow, what a pleasure! I'm not greasing up my screen or anything like that. So it's really, it's going to be one of my cameras. I know that. Yeah. Uh, I can't That's wait. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me happy, right? Yes. <laughs> so. No, we are very happy with with what we're having here. It's um, Great, seven great lenses, two great cameras. 
not much more to wish for. Oh, no, <laughs> really well, yes, there is. Always there's going to be something to wish for. And I know I'll sit yeah, back down with you along the line, in the future. You know, but this is so new. <laughs> so anyway, Micah, thanks very much. You're I appreciate welcome. you sharing all this with us. It's been a, a great time and really excited to see all this. And thanks all of you for watching, and I'll see you on the Luminous Landscape. <laughs>